Hello everyone and welcome to I Know You Know, your one-stop knowledge sharing platform for all things careers, life after high school, as well as opportunities that are available to you. Thank you so, so much for tuning into this video. As you saw by the title, the title of the video is Bursary O'Clock. This is a new segment which I am introducing and I'm happy to introduce to the channel. And under this segment, I'll be discussing different bursaries that are available to you. I will be grouping these according to discipline so that it's easier for you to find the relevant ones for you. So please feel free to browse through the different videos under the segment so that you can find the one that's ideal for you or relevant to you. And also feel free to share with people you know are uh, studying for certain qualifications to ensure that they too have access to bursaries that are relevant to them. Without any further ado, let's get into today's video. In today's episode of Bursary O'Clock, we will be covering bursaries related to drama and theatre, and as well as film and motion picture. So stay tuned if this is relevant to you. If you know somebody who's, who wants to study this or is studying this currently and they're looking for funding, also please stay tuned and share this with them. So without any further ado, let's get into this. So this video is in partnership with ZA Bursaries. It is a platform where you can find bursaries that are available. So I encourage you to check, so I encourage you to check ZA Bursaries. I will leave their link in the description box below. And all the, the first bursary I'd like to discuss is the KZM Provincial Government Bursary. And here, this bursary seems to cover quite a lot of disciplines, but under the Department of Art and Culture, they do cover a national diploma in the following fields. Performing and non-performing arts, drama, practical music, popular music, jazz, fine arts, graphic design, jewelry design, anthropology, archival studies, as well as languages. The eligibility for this um, bursary would be that you have to have, be a South African citizen, a KZN resident between the ages of 18 and 35, you have to have completed matric and are provisionally accepted to study or are currently studying at a recognized South African tertiary institution in one of the fields that are mentioned. Lastly, that you do study or intend to study full time and preference will be given to students who are studying or intend on studying at a tertiary institution within KZN. So in order to apply, there is a PDF that you can download. I checked it, it's about nine pages. So you will get this from the ZA Bursaries site. They also state the address to which you must submit your application form as well as the supporting documents too. So all of this you will find on the link in the description box below. The second bursary I'd like to discuss is that by the National Arts Council. To apply for this bursary, you do need to go onto the NAC link, that's the National Arts Council link, which you'll find on ZA Bursary in the description box below. And it says here that you'll first need to register an account before you can log in and apply. On the link, you will also find what supporting documents they need you to supply when applying for this, both for the institutional bursary, so for the undergraduate, as well as for the individual bursary for the postgraduate. I'll now be discussing bursaries that are available under film and motion picture. The first one is after postgraduate honors development bursary. And this bursary is um, intended for students who wish to study towards a postgraduate BA honors qualification in motion pictures. The bursary will cover the full tuition fees of the course for one full year of study. The eligibility for this is that you must be a South African citizen, you must wish to study towards a postgraduate BA honours qualification in motion picture, you want to study part-time or full-time, so they cover both, you're currently in third year, you're currently a third year AFDA student, you're a previous AFDA BA graduate, or you have outside recognised prior learning. So that is if you studied a relevant degree, even if you did not necessarily do it at AFTA. You must also have excellent um, academic results and you, have, you must have proven financial need and they do support a, a triple BEE status. So how you should apply for this is you do so online on the AFTA site which you will get on ZA bursaries in the link that I'll put in the description box below. And you'll be required to support, um, to submit some supporting document. And it closes on 30th September annually. 
The next bursary I'd like to discuss is that by the multi-choice talent factory South Africa and this bursary um, is for students that are pursuing their studies towards a film or TV related qualification. They say here it can be a diploma or a degree but they will be supporting these students from their second year of study onwards. So the bursary is, a, is awarded for one year of study and therefore students must reapply for each for, for funding each year. The eligibility requirements for this are that you must be a South African citizen, be 18 years or older, have completed matric, studying towards a film or TV related diploma or degree qualification, and you must have achieved a minimum overall of C plus average in the previous year of study. Lastly, you must have a proven financial need. So how you apply for this scholarship is that you download um, the application form from the link. So I will be putting the link of the ZA bursary page in the description box. So the next one I'm going to speak about is that by the Gosnadal Film Commission bursary. Um, this program is intended for students that are pursuing film related studies at a Guazulu Natal institution. And the bursary covers registration fees, tuition fees, accommodation, as well as prescribed textbooks. The criteria for this is that you must be a South African citizen, you must be 25 years or older, you must reside in KwaZulu Natal, have completed matric or are currently in matric, you must study or plan to study towards a film related qualification. You must study or have been accepted to study at a tertiary institution in KZN. And um, they have added here that disabled students are welcome to apply. And then in order to apply for this bursary, there is a, a form that you can find on this page. I'll put the link in the description box. And of course, you do have to submit some supporting documents. You can email the applic your application with the supporting documents or you can also hand deliver it to the given address. The next one is the Mpumalanga Provincial Government Bursary. And this bursary is actually allocated to a whole lot of um, different um, studies, some in um, agriculture, in health, public works, transport, um, human settlements, etc. So there's quite a lot of bursaries that this covers. Of course, part of that is um, the Bachelor of Arts um, that uh, this video is dedicated to. So the requirements for this is that you must be a South African citizen, you must currently be in matric or have completed matric, you must be studying or planning on studying in the aforementioned fields of studies, you must reside in the Bumalanga province and have proven financial need. Female students and those with disabilities are encouraged to apply and they have added here that preference will be given to students with previously disadvantaged backgrounds as well as those from rural communities. Um, you can apply for this bursary on the given link there. I will put a link to the ZA bursary page in the description box and of course along with your application you would need to um, provide some supporting documents and then the, the application can be posted or hand delivered and the addresses are given in each case. The bursaries I'm sharing do have different closing dates, so just check out when the closing date is because a lot of these normally close, like for example, for the 2021 year, it has closed in October 2020. So just check it out. The next one, which will be the last one that I'm covering, is the National Film and Video Foundation Bursary. This is for film and TV studies, both undergraduate and postgraduate diploma or degrees. And um, the students must be pursuing their studies or intending to pursue their studies within the film and television in industries at an accredited South African tertiary institution. They do say that the bursary excludes performance, arts and acting courses. So if that's what you're doing, this is not um, for you. The bursary will be awarded on two factors, firstly being academic merit as well as financial need and it is not repayable so you don't have to like pay it back. So the eligibility requirements are that you must be a South African citizen, must have a strong academic record, you must have completed matric, registered or provisionally registered to study towards a full-time film and TV qualification that would be undergraduate or postgraduate degree or diploma. 
you must be registered or provisionally registered to study at a recognized tertiary institution in South Africa and you must have obtained a minimum overall average of 50% for the past year of study you must have um, a proven financial need that would they've listed here in brackets the total income um, household income of less than 600,000 and then preference will be given to students from previously disadvantaged backgrounds and then you do apply for this bursary on the link that is given I will put the link to the ZA bursaries page in the description box below and you will of course have to submit um, supporting documents along with your application thank you so so much for watching this video just to sum everything up you have seen that the bursaries that i i spoke of do want you to submit supporting documents please ensure that your supporting documents are recently certified just so that you don't miss out on an opportunity for small administrative um, issues i know that some bursaries do reject um documents supporting documents that are not certified some of them do reject if they're not certified within the recent three months so just ensure that that is done and then secondly i know that some of the bursaries i spoke of are currently closed for the 2021 year please keep them in your radar and apply next year and if you are in matric definitely put down the dates somewhere where you will be able to see when they do close for 2022 I will be filming a series of more bursaries as the year goes so there will be bursaries that are open some will be closed but the point is just to put this information out there so that people know where to find these bursaries if you're applying i hope that this was valuable to you and if you know someone who's applying for the relevant studies that i've spoken of today please do share this video with them so that they can also have access to these um, fields of study thank you so so much for tuning into this video see you in the next one